Good morning, lovely people on the internet. Today we're gonna to talk about tips to keep yourself sane during this lockdown. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to do something for someone else. Because we need to support each other as much as we can during those times. And how can we better do that than to just try and do something nice for the people you live with? So let's get to it. Now the reason I've been trying to keep it down is because my girlfriend is sleeping in the bedroom. She could probably hear me, but I'm still trying to keep this somewhat of a surprise. And the nice thing I want to do right now is make breakfast for her to bring in bed. She really likes these crackers in the room because they're like not too heavy. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get her some coffee. She really likes the apple strobe from the Albert Heijn these days. So that's what we've got here. Let's go give it to her. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a project. And when I first heard that people should be doing projects and taking this lockdown as an opportunity to try new things, I was just like, no, that sounds like such a drag. But now that we're in the second lockdown and I don't know, it's just like lasting forever, why not take this opportunity to do something better late than never? So one of the things I'm gonna try and do this morning is bake a baguette. I've done this before, so it's not exactly trying something new, but for whatever reason, when I moved to the Netherlands from the US, I kind of stopped baking and I used to really enjoy that. So I'm going to take this as an opportunity to get back into that baking groove. I don't know why I stopped in the first place, because when I bake something, it actually tastes decent, whereas I like cook pretty often, but what I cook isn't amazing. So I think I should get my priorities straightened out. But for this morning, we are going to cook. No, we're not going to cook. But for this morning, we are going to bake a baguette. Let's see if it's any good. Yep. There we are with this thing. I feel like this is one of the reasons I stopped baking in the Netherlands. Okay, this thing is a wing scale. I'm like not that unfamiliar with it. Obviously, it's just a kitchen apparatus and I will not let it defeat me. I will not. 700 grams. What's that like? Four cups? 700, that f whoa, that's a lot of flour. No. Maybe I should make this, do this recipe in half. I'm trying to feed the whole building. So that's 350, ugh, I'm early morning math. I swear, there's like so much math in my videos. Not that I mind, I mind. That was step one wasn't so bad. Okay, next the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of instant dry yeast. That does not seem like a lot for so much flour, but I'm gonna trust the guy. Trust the recipe. That's what I need to do. I need to let go of my trust issues during this pandemic. And now we whisk. Yeah, we're whisking it good. Usually I would use two hands for this, folks but I think it's going all right. The bowl's shaking, it's whatevs. All right, mixing it good, mixing it good. Gonna have some good bread. I shouldn't quit my day job. Half a teaspoon of salt. Final ingredient, 260 grams of cool tap water. I haven't even done that much and it looks like a freaking war zone in here. What? Great way to start your morning. Now that the bread is covered and rising, it's supposed to rise for like 45 minutes. That is the perfect amount of time for me to do some yoga. And I think a great thing to do is to get some exercise in because 
I don't know, like a couple of days ago, I tried biking for 15 minutes and my muscles were in pain because they have subsequently converted into jelly during this lockdown because I barely move, barely get out of my chair. So doing yoga is one small way that I just feel like I could get some exercise in and prevent my muscle from turning into permanent jello instead of temporary jello, which is more acceptable. And yeah, I think I like to do my yoga in the morning. So that is a great tip. If you find yourself thinking that, well, I'm just gonna exercise during lunch or at the end of the day and a week goes by and you haven't done it, maybe something needs to change. So I like to do yoga with Adrian. I can recommend her because I have been doing yoga with Adrian for like several years now, even before YouTube yoga was popular because of the pandemic. And I think it's just because I really don't like going into a yoga class and then have everybody there do these fancy yoga poses and they're all in such great shape and I'm just there because I need to calm the f down. <laughs> so yeah, yoga with Adrian. Look at that, just all these cool poses. Hey, check it out, not bad. Not bad for a sloppy job I did earlier today. I was completely not paying attention. These look profesh. Nom, 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 nom. The next tip I have for you today is to maybe get up and go for a walk at some point. Like I used to, again, try and go at the end of the day, but I feel like that just doesn't work for me. I am really tired by the end of the day and all I wanna do is just sit on my couch, even though I've been at home, which doesn't make any sense. So I like to schedule a short walk in the middle of the day just so that when I come back, I can just get back to work because all I've been doing so far is sitting in this spot and working. Yeah, so I mean, really, I hope that this movement in the middle of the day will help me regain some of my muscle that I've lost due to the coronavirus. It's not a direct causal relationship, but it has played a role, my friends. Okay, so you didn't think I was going to film a vlog and not show you amazing shots of Utrecht, right? I mean, I'm talking about the city being amazing. My quality of film taking is clearly subpar. But hey, look, it's someone's birthday. These windows are gorgeous. Yep, and a random old church because like, why not? Come on, Utrecht. I see these benches and I always like want to sit on them. I know I'm not supposed to, but they just look like public benches. Pretty windows. It's a nice day to be taking a walk. Sun is not out, but it will do. Yep, interesting poem. I'm not quite sure what it says. I mean, I can read it, but I don't know what it means. I, of course, also decided to walk along the single because even when it rains and it's super muddy, it's still really pretty and I like it. Oh, it is 6.20 p.m. It's Friday, which means that the weekend has begun, which is why I'm cuddling with the fox. I'm just kidding, this is not something I do. But what I do like to do is just, I like to order about once a week and then of course a little more when I feel like it. And I feel like a nice way to feel like it's the weekend is to do something special because otherwise it just feels like the week blends into the weekend and the weekend blends into the week. And yeah, it goes both ways because who the hell can tell the difference between the two anymore? But to kind of keep them separate, what I like to do is do something special. So right now I have just ordered a crap ton of food, crap ton of delicious food that I am going to consume while drinking copious amounts of alcohol. And that way I will feel like it's the weekend because cuddling this dead, not even alive fox isn't doing it. Happy weekend. Also, you know, it's like nice to get changed into work clothes when you're starting the work day. It kind of makes you feel like there's a difference between the work day and then the evening and 
the rest of the day that's not the work day. And similarly, at the end of the day, I just feel like I have to change out of my work clothes and into PJs. So let's make that happen. Ta-da! In PJs!